Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a couple of the new features that were added to Google Classroom just yesterday afternoon. So here they are. Uh, first of all, I'm in my Google Classroom. I'm looking at one of my classes right now. One of the new features is the option to look at an individual student's work all in one stream. And to do that, select students and then choose a student. And you can see all of that student's work in one stream here. So rather than having to go to an assignment and look for each individual student, uh, you can now just choose a student and look at all of his or her work in one uh, one stream like this and I can go in and you know click on that link and, and see that I haven't given a grade and now I can give give a grade Now the next update that Will be handy for teachers at the beginning of the school year is to select students and Now when you invite students by using a class code you can use this drop down menu and select display. And now your class code can be shown full screen in your classroom, making it just a little bit easier for your students to find the class code and sign up to join your class. Not a huge change, but a convenient update. And the last update that I want to share with you uh, happens back here in our home page. So I look at all of my classes and now I can rearrange the order in which these appear by using this little menu here and selecting move. And I can move the order that I want this to appear in. I can say to beginning, to end, and now that appears at the end. So. Just another convenient little update to Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.